Welcome back to our clay project, kindergartners. Now this week we are ready to make our baby bird. Now this is the second little ball you have in your bag. What you're going to do is you're going to split this in two, okay? So go ahead and just use your fingers and twist it and cut it in two pieces. Now if you have one piece that's bigger than the other, that's okay. Let's make that one that's bigger your um, body okay so like this is gonna be my body right here so for my body I need to make it like a circle so I'm gonna roll it in my hand just like that perfect perfect little ball now for making the head and the wings and the beak I'm gonna use my other piece of my clay now I gotta make the head so I'm gonna split this in half again so go ahead and cut this in half set one half aside and this one we're gonna make the head. So we are going to roll it, roll it, roll it. Just like this. Okay, see, perfect. Now I made this side, well, maybe this is a little too big of a head. So I can pull some aside and then I just roll it again. Okay, I think this is much better head. Perfect. Well now look, it doesn't wanna stick, right? So what do we do if something doesn't wanna stick? I wanna put it together. Well, I'm going to show you the trick right now. So from last week, um, if you had a chance to make slip, that means that you had that piece of clay that was all dried up and you added some water to create what looks like mud, but it's, we call it slip. Now slip is very sticky and that's going to be perfect glue for us. If you don't, it's okay. You could try with water as well. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a paper clip that you just open up. And that may be something that your parents do with you. And then right here, you're going to scratch, 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 scratch. So I call it scratch and attach, but it's called scoring. Okay, so I'm gonna score. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the head. I'm gonna scratch, 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 scratch. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit of that slip and put it on top here. Just a little bit, you don't need too much. If you put too much, you're gonna see it's gonna squeeze right out. And then I'm going to put my two pieces together. I'm gonna to press nice and hard. See how it squeezed out a little bit? That's okay. I could use a little tool to smooth it out. Okay, and there we go. Now it's attached. See, it's perfect. Awesome, so now I've got my head and my body. Now I need a beak. So to make the beak, I like to make my eyes first so I know where my beak is going to be. So you can use what looks like a pencil. I'm going to make a circle here and press down and on the other side. I could decide to add a pupil. So see how I'm using this side instead and right here. And now I'm ready for making my beak. So you have all this leftover clay, right? Well, you need to keep some for your wings as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get a tiny bit of that clay. I don't need too much. Roll in your hand and make a little tiny ball. And then look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll just one side of it. So instead of rolling in the middle, I'm gonna roll just one side so I can make it look like a little cone. There we go. Do you see how it looks like a cone? One side is pointy, one side is still big. Well, that's perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on. Can I just put it on like this? Is it gonna stay? Nope, it's not gonna stay. I forgot to scratch. So go ahead and score it, right? We're gonna scratch and attach. So let's scratch, scratch, scratch. And let's scratch, scratch, scratch. And then put some slip or put some water. Just like that. And now you're gonna press it down and you can smooth it out. There we go, just smooth it out. Okay, there we go, I've got a perfect little beak. Now I need my little wings, so I have some leftover clay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut a piece, roll it in your hands. Now this time, instead of having a ball, look what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll it so it's a little bit longer. Ooh, roll it, almost like to make like a little snake. Now I can smush it down, so I've got a beautiful little oval. I can decide that instead of being an oval, I want it to be more of a triangle. That's okay. So I can make one side be pointy, one side be larger. There we go. 
Now I'm ready to put it on. So can I just like stick it on like this? Nah, I can't, right? I gotta score it first, right? Scratch and attach. So scratch, 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 scratch. Okay, can I put it on now? Nah, I need some water or I need some slip. So let's put some slip right here. Perfect, okay. And now I'm gonna put it on. I could decide that for my baby bird, maybe his wings are resting along its body or maybe it's flapping its wings, right? And that's gonna be your decision. Now do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna scratch, 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 scratch. And, oh, I forgot to make my other wing. Okay. So I'm gonna roll in my hand, roll it like I'm doing like a little um, worm or a snake. I'm going to smush it down. Okay, and then scratch. And I already scratched this way. And now I'm gonna put some slip. That was a lot. There we go. Okay, so I could decide that my bird is having his wings flapped. Or I could also decide, well, you know what? I think I made them too big. Well, that's okay. Look, you could just cut it off like that, right? That's fine and just model it back on. I'm gonna do the same here. Maybe I decided it's a little too big. I don't like it that big. There we go, nice. Smooth it on, make sure it doesn't come off. Now, when you're all done with this, now if you want to, you could put some feathers. Look at what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this little pencil-like shape I'm just gonna press it down so it looks like little feathers. See that? I could also decide to use my uh, paper clip and make some smaller lines so it looks like little feathers going a certain way. Now you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, right? The part of decoration, that's your decision how you want it to be. So if you're like, I don't want those feathers, I don't like it, that's fine. The only thing you really have to do is the scratching and the slipping. You have to um, have a beak so we know it's a bird. You need to have some wings also so we know it's a bird. And then you also have to make sure it fits inside your nest. If it doesn't fit, then you may need to fix your bird and make him a little smaller if let's say your nest was too small or it could just be that it sits next to it instead once you're all done put your initials at the bottom okay well right now i'm going to put x and x so you understand put your initials and then bring it to school so i could put it in the kiln and fire it because we are going to glaze it that means painting special paint for ceramics we're going to glaze it the following week so make sure you bring me back your baby bird at school so I can fire it. Have a great week.